Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to check out the Antiquities Grind Guide. I made a video a while ago showcasing the whole system, how you can get the two new skill lines and how it works with scrying and the excavating with the digging sites. Link in the description below. Today I want to focus on how to get you from level 1 to the max level as fast as possible. Why is that important? You can see here difficulty, simple, intermediate, advanced and master. To be able to get master leads, for example, and look here, the Fresh and Stranglers mythic item, you need to be able to get the master leads, because these here are all gold. So how do we get there? When we look at the excavation scrying skill line, you gotta go to scrying here. Antiquarian Insight. This one tells you what quality you actually can pick up. So even if you don't have the skill lines at all, you actually can get green leads. But you can't use them, you need the skill line for that. And you get these in every zone, as a like a freebie, a green lead in every zone. So level 1 is the simple difficulty, level 2 is intermediate, basically blue, then purple, advanced difficulty, and gold, master difficulty, that's at level 4. So you actually don't need level 10 to get mythic leads. I made a grind guide on alcushq.com as well. I will put the link in the description. Here it tells you how much points you need to, to get there. So green is level 1. Then blue 3, purple 5, gold 7. And if you want the ultimate difficulty, you need level 10. For every green lead you complete, you get one experience point. For every blue one, three, five, and then ten. So the higher the quality, the faster you will level up your skill lines. Like you see here. Improve this skill by unearthing antiquities and by completing achievements related to antiquities. So to get to level seven, it takes like three to five hours. Doesn't take that long, but the last one will be a huge, a bigger stretch. But it doesn't really matter because you can already farm stuff. So how do we actually get there fast and efficient? Arteum is your new best friend. Why? Because it's a small zone. If you do this in a big zone, a digging site might show up here, or you have to run all the way up here to get to the digging site and back down and so on. Sucks. So that's why Arteum is nice. It's a very small zone. When the digging site is here, it might go over here. Okay, no problem. 30 seconds travel time. So the travel time between digging sites is just a lot smaller. In every zone, you will get the green lead. And you can do this one an unlimited amount of time. And there we have our hamster wheel, pretty much. You just grind this Sitchik lead over and over and over till you hit level 3 like I explain here do the green lead over and over and over again bam you're level 3 okay what you do when you're level 3 now you can get blue leads so once we activated the point here for our blue thing is when we do another green lead once we finished him and got the antiquity we will actually have a blue lead included as a reward there you go next hamster wheel <laughs> do the blue lead once you have completed the blue lead it will disappear again but hey you still have your green one that always shows up again so you do the green one again to get the blue lead you do the blue lead again it will disappear and you do the green one again rinse and repeat you're level five now you can get purple I explained this here pretty much. Now we do the purple ones. Now with the purple it changes a little bit. Because unlike the green and the blue that will constantly reappear, the purple will not. You can just do it once and then it will not show up again. So what do we do? Now we have to go out into the big bad world. Like I just mentioned, you have a green lead in every zone. So now you go, I don't know. Maybe Shadowfen. You do your green lead. Oh, you get the blue lead. So you do the blue lead. And from the blue lead, you will get the purple lead. You do the purple lead. And these together 
we'll always give you like nine experience points one from the green three from the blue and five from the purple and you do that in every zone rinse and repeat green blue purple green blue purple and so on so if you have a character with a lot of way shrines that's the best way to do it i did this on the pts i tested it out and i think after i've done all the zones i was like level eight and a half but one, like I mentioned before, you only need level 7 to actually be able to get like gold leads already for mythic items. Once you're level 7, you can start farming gold leads if you want to. Or you could just go back to Arteum and keep grinding the green and blue leads to get to level 10. But it will take a while. So I just recommend actually start going to zones do world bosses and public dungeons that was the easiest way for me to actually get leads i was just killing world bosses over and over again and public dungeons rinse and repeat but there is more things like treasure chests sigic rifts the thief roves and random monsters that will also drop leads the mythic leads each mythic item has five pieces like i just mentioned before and here in the grind guide you will also see where they drop each of these five leads that you need to combine a mythic item will drop in a different zone. So my, or the fastest method I pretty much did, I was just killing world bosses and public dungeons and I got uh, mythic gold leads fairly fast. I also do have a full guide on the website with all the locations of all the items as well. I will also put it in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will actually showcase the whole process like I did it on the PTS. I actually live streamed the whole thing on twitch.tv slash alcushq. I can put the VODs into the description as well if you want to see the whole process. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not that hard. Grind green till you get blue, then do both of these till you get purple and so on. It's a fairly easy system. Just gotta get used to how to scry and how to excavate and then you're good to go please don't forget to subscribe and hit the juicy like button thanks for watching and see you soon cheers